It's the Textonation Week podcast. I'm Fred Fishkin. Welcome to the compilation of this week's Textonation reports and more. Adding some new tech for enjoying the Super Bowl doesn't have to break the bank. If you have already been enjoying the latest from Netflix, Amazon, or Apple on a big screen, maybe got a new one for the holidays, how about improving the sound? It can make all the difference. Yamaha is offering discounts on some of its latest sound bars before the big game, with prices starting at $150 and going up to $300 for the YAS-209 with built-in Alexa voice control and a wireless subwoofer. Marketing Communications Manager Joel Kennedy. If you tend to nerd out a little bit with the games or you're watching and you're thinking, that name sounds familiar, it's really handy to be able to say like, hey Alexa, where did this person go to college? You can find the deals at Yamaha.com and at affiliated stores and websites. Think smart glasses have gone away? Think again. Vuzix has captured innovation awards at this year's CES in three categories for the company's next generation smart glasses. They have a sleek design, are equipped with the world's smallest micro LED based projection engine dual displays, and feature cameras, microphones, stereo speakers, and are compatible with Android and iOS devices. CEO Paul Travers says the applications are many education, medicine, and more. These glasses are so easy to give the ability to do things like answer the phone, answer text messages with them, leave your phone in your pocket. You never have to take it out again. You're walking down the street, you ask Alexa, can you play my country and Western playlist, please? The next generation smart glasses will arrive later this year. Find more at VUZIX.com. At this year's virtual consumer electronics show, Cyberlink, which is best known for video and photo creativity software, showed off AI technology it calls FaceMe. Senior VP Richard Carriero says it's designed to help companies and venues set up kiosks, for instance. Uh, That enables uh, the recognition of whether or not people are wearing masks on their face, are they wearing them properly, are these uh, adequate masks. Uh, We can also combine with thermal cameras and pinpoint people who might have high elevated body temperatures or fever. Potentially important when it comes to COVID control. FaceMe is also being used for security and financial applications. There's more info at cyberlink.com. Works has made another valuable addition to its PowerShare lineup with a lightweight 20-volt cube vacuum. It comes with attachments for crevices and a brush good for cleaning car seats and more, and operates on the same PowerShare batteries that power many of the company's products. You should know it is not designed for liquids, but we've been impressed with the ultra portability and surprisingly good power. The company's Meg Butterly. The release system on it makes it very easy to clean too, because you just, with the press of a button, the bottom opens up and you can clean it up. It comes complete with a HEPA filter as well to, you know, minimize dust and dander, allergens in the air. The price with battery and charger is about $100. If you already have PowerShare batteries and a charger, you can find it for about $40 less. Misty Robotics has developed a new skill for its Misty 2 robot, turning it into a temperature screening assistant. The robotics company, a spin out of Sphero, has tested the skill with a variety of health institutions and other organizations. Company head Tim Enwall. Misty asks the, the COVID 19 screening questions. You know, have you had these symptoms? Have you been around something or caring for somebody with these symptoms? Uh, and then she, with a thermal camera in her visor, take somebody's temperature, and if it's elevated, we'll let somebody in the facility know, hey, um, you need to come check this person further. Misty is a robotics platform, open source, that allows for the creation of a wide range of solutions. Find more at mistyrobotics.com. Those are our reports for this week. You can find a full archive of reports and complete interviews at textonation.com. Thanks for listening. Now this. It takes a lot of listening to build a better radio, and that's just what the folks at Sea Crane have done. Bob Crane and his crew, nestled among the rivers and tallest trees in the world in Fortuna, California, have made a habit of listening to their customers, and that's just what they've done in building the CC Skywave SSB, the Swiss Army knife of portable radios. For everyday listening to AM or FM in the yard or patio or on the nightstand, Without having to drain a mobile phone battery, it's a great companion. 
but it is also a companion equipped for NOAA weather information and alerts that can be life-saving. You can listen to FEMA and Coast Guard transmissions too. Beyond all of that, you can tune into shortwave signals from around the world. It's compact, easy to take with you, and built to last. The CC Skywave SSB. Click on the link at textonation.com.